this is what is going to happen. And this is the demand of the indigenous people of Biafra tonight, being the 22nd day of October. 22nd day, Friday, the 22nd day of October, 2021. Exactly at 20 hours 42. That is 42 minutes after 8 o'clock. And 22, 20, 42 minutes past um, top of the hour in Biafra land or every, any other place you may be. Our leader, Onyen Dumas in Nam the Kanu must, must be released unconditionally. That is the demand that the indigenous people of Biafra are making tonight. Our leader must be released unconditionally and that must be before this, their usual date that they have set, which is the, the 10th of November. And in addition to releasing our leader, this people must, they must give a date for referendum. They must announce a date for referendum for Biafrans to decide our fate, that of our children, and that of generations unborn. Only you cannot be tried secretly because they, yesterday they prevented journalists from accessing the courtroom or even even coming into the court compound. They prevented lawyers from coming into the court premises or the courtroom. Now their plan is to, you know, um, place a cover or a kind of um, secrecy, secrecy behind or, or for this very, very, very trial of our leader and try him under their useless uh, wealth. I don't want to offend any religion, but they want to try him under their, 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 their Sharia nonsense, but that will not happen. That cannot happen. I am saying that from tonight, from tonight, the 22nd of October, 2021, up until the 4th of November 2021, the zoo must release our leader. I will repeat, from tonight, this is our demand and it cannot be changed. They must release our leader unconditionally because he has committed no crime. He has committed no crime. They must release him unconditionally and they have from tonight up until the 4th of November. If by the 4th of November they do not release our leader, from the 5th of November, the indigenous people of Biafra will go back to the trenches and we will call an indefinite. Father, we will begin that sit at home that we had initially um, um, said we will carry out if our leader did not come. And I'm saying now, from the 5th of November, if by the 4th our leader does not come out, the 5th of November shall be, we will announce a seat at home until the court date. The only date that will be exempted from this date will be the date that is a Sunday, when people will be allowed to go to do their, their prayer, to do their worship, to go, go to churches, that Sunday, would, they will be allowed to, to you know, um, prepare, fill in, fill in the, 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 their resources. I mean, um, uh, put things that, buy things that they need. And as I'm saying it now, the Afrans must understand that the battle has just started. So begin to prepare your mind. Begin to prepare yourself. Physically and mentally, we must be strong. We must be strong for us to win this battle. Not that anybody will begin to tell you any story and then we will begin to, uh, people will begin to talk one thing or the other. From now, from this night, from tomorrow, begin to prepare for the eventuality that from the 5th of November 2021, there will be a lockdown of Biafra land until the date 
of the court which they have announced which is the 10th the 10th of november 2021 and with exception let me repeat exception that the sunday um when this uh this sit at home will commence the sunday following it shall not be a sit at home because our people who are very religious and who have great faith in Chukwabiyama, we will allow them to go and pray and worship in their respective churches and their respective places of worship. And I want to state and say very, very carefully here, those that call themselves our religious leaders, those that call themselves our traditional rulers, the zoo has fixed their next court date for the 10th of November. If that court date will hold, because we, our expectation is that they must release Onyendi because they have no case against him. Forget these concoctions here that um, Malami just brought out to, to, today afternoon. They, they still do not have anything against Wachinek and they must release him. But if they did not and continue to hold their court case on 10th of November, if you are a traditional ruler in Biafra land, you people must now come together because you must send a delegation to Abuja. If you people are church leaders, the clergy in Biafra land, you must now begin to plan because you must send a delegation to Abuja for that court date. We have to begin to know those who are for the people and those who are not for the people. And it is now the next court date will show us if you are part of those whom the enemy is using to destroy our land, whom the enemy and the politicians are using to impoverish our people, whom they are using to subjugate our people, and we will take note of that, and time will, of course, um, help us to do what is needed to be done going forward. Great dear friends, we know that we've heard, but we want them to confirm it, but I, I, I'm not even waiting for them to confirm it. What I want to say this evening is that the impostor in in Asurok is not welcome anywhere in Biafra land anymore. He is not welcome. Ah, uh, because we heard that uh, the 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 man in Ebony State, uh, called David Umai, uh, is 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 planning to to uh, make him or bring him to Ebony State to come and visit and do what and and I don't know what he built or whatever he he was doing his duty. Of course, even if you build anything, that is the job why you become a governor. Nobody should, should praise you or call for you because you build a road. Now, we and we heard that they are making plans for, for this impulse to come to a point state. We will give them the, the, the same treatment we gave him in Imo State because none of them is welcome in our land. You cannot hold the leader of a nation. You cannot hold our leader and you come to our land to, to laugh at us, he come to a land to 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 um <clears throat> to uh, urinate on the graves of those that you killed through your army. Therefore, Buhari or whatever he calls himself is not welcome anywhere in Biafra land until our leader is released. And if our leader allows him or allows anybody uh, that that we represent him wants to come, that is the prerogative of union. But as far as we are concerned. He is not welcome. Anytime he comes, we will give him, we will tell him he is unwelcome and we will give him the treatment that we are friends always give those that are like him. And going forward, also, from tonight, from tonight, any program or event that is Nigerian in nature, being organized by any zoo agency or ministry or department, any event that they want to organize in our land, they must get the 
permission of the owners of that land. They must get our permission because Biafra land does no longer belongs no longer to them. You cannot come into somebody's land and then begin to do what you want without getting permission. You cannot do that. And from tonight, those who want to bring any any event from the zoo, and they may call it a, a education outreach or they may call it a health whatever. You cannot. That, there's, those things will not happen in land anymore. If you try, we will, of course, mobilize our people to do what to boycott such things. And, of course, you must take permission from the owners of the land. You must obtain permission before you bring anything that is Nigerian in nature into our land. Yeah, friends. We must understand that we are in a very, very precarious time. We are in a very, very dangerous time. And it is desired and demanded of force that we must all be very attentive, that we must all be very, very at alert. We must be very, very at alert because they are not relenting. Those whom they have they have recruited they are not relenting therefore we must not relent our eyes must continue to be on the board our destination is nothing but Biafra our objective is nothing but a restored independent and sovereign Biafra nation but the short term objective that we have today because that Biafra that we are seeking, we will be led into that new Biafra by only one person, and that is when you demand an Therefore, our short term objective, our immediate concern must be all hands must be on deck that we must ensure that he is out from the hands of the enemy to continue the march to our freedom and to continue to bring this very, very um, heaven ordained uh, uh, project uh, to a very, very victorious conclusion that Tukabiyama may take the glory and that we all may, of course, be able to enjoy. Biafrans, Biafra for us is not just a name, Biafra for us is our heritage. Biafra is our identity. And Chukwokikabiyama, the owner of Biafra land, the spirit that owns Biafra, it is only him that we bow down and it's only him that we worship. And having said that, the Psalms reading continues. We have today is it. 146. We have very few days to conclude this. Everyone must continue to read the psalm. Those who have not been doing that, follow the last days that this psalm reading is being done for us all to get to the end of it. And then, of course, the 50th day, I believe, there shall be a day, uh, it, shall, it should be, I understand, uh, they are planning a day of thanks and praises to all of you. A day of thanks and praises to Chukwa Piyama. Therefore, I want to thank all of you for listening. I want to continue to encourage all of you. Tighten your bell because we have entered the stage where we all must no longer overlook all the shenanigans from that is coming from the zoological of Nigeria. We must be prepared for what they are coming with. We know how they operate. We know what their minds are. We know what their objectives are. And we must not allow them to dictate it. That reason, that is the reason why this Malami came out today, after yesterday. They are, they are thinking, 
Ah, they have seen their leader. Now they will. They are happy. Now let us hit them. We know that you will do your taki, uh, takia stuff because that is your nature. You will do your takia. You think you have given, you have shown our leader. You will now come and use the hammer on us. But we are waiting for you. And Chukwabiama is leading this battle. And for us, victory is assured. And Chukwoke shall take the glory. Therefore, I want to say from here to uh, from here and from me. May Chukwokike abide and guide and strengthen all of you in your duties. May he keep you focused. May he keep you loyal. May you understand that without Machineke, that without Onyendu, our generation is doomed. And all the sacrifices that all those of us are making in Biafra land, think about it. It is just but for a while. Because the joy of victory shall last eternity upon us and upon our children and generations of God. May we keep you with all of you. And from me, from here, I want to say to you, good night and sleep very well.